Hello everyone, in this tutorial I would like to explain how we bulk change our items. Bulk changing meaning changing uh, the, our items in bulk, meaning choosing several items, a quantity of items, listings, and changing something in them. So in order for us to do that, we need to be on the active listings page. Active listings page, it's right here. You can just go directly from the dashboard or from the side menu. Once you're in the active listings page, you can either use the filtering uh, feature, which I've explained in a different tutorial, we can check it out in order for you to find the listings you would like to change, or maybe you just find them straight from here and you can do that. So let's say I want to bulk change these three items. I will just click them, three together. Of course, you can do up to 500 every time, or you can bulk change your entire listings and I'll show you soon how. So now after I choose these three items, I can click bulk change and let's see what I can change. I can change the break even for all these listings. I can change the additional dollar profit. Okay. So let's say I'm working with $5 uh, profit for each listings. If I'll click now 10, all of these listings will have a new additional dollar profit of 10. Um, new additional dollar profit. Uh, um, one moment please just make sure just to let you know that you cannot change the break even below 10% and this is something that we've created as a protection for you because there were cases when people did not notice and somehow put a zero here and then suddenly lo lost a lot of money because sales came in with a loss so the minimum break even you can put is 10 let's say I want to have 20 here um, new additional percentage profit what the new additional profit I want to have. So if I was working on 10%, I can change it to 20. A new quantity, if I'm working on one, I can now decide if I have increased my limits, I'll put three. Uh, a new price, this is a sell price that you can decide for all the listings you've chose. Um, change current dollar profit by X. <clears throat> uh, what this feature means is that if I have, uh, if I am working with different percentage or uh, uh, different additional profit and percentage or in dollars, um, and I would like to add on top of that a specific quantity, this is where I'll use the new additional profit and the new additional percentage profit will just change. Uh, the existing profit I have to whatever I list here. But if I want to add, so for example, I have listings that have $1 profit, the other ones has $10 profit and maybe more with $20 profit. And I want to add now to everyone an, an additional $1. So my $10 profit will become 11. The $20 profit will become 21 and so on. Same goes with this one, additional percentage. It just relates to the... Um, field of the percentage of course so if i have 10 percent and i will add a one percent the the listing with 10 percent will become 11 percent and so on uh change break even the same with the break even i can just change it by a specific uh quantity so if i have different break evens i work with 20 percent 20 22 percent and so on i can decide to change it so if i'll if i decide that i want to uh, lower my break even because maybe my e eBay, uh, sorry, maybe my PayPal fees have been lowered. So let's say I want to lower my break even to the listings I've chose by uh, 1%. I will write minus 1 and I'll be changing that to all the listings I've chose. What else can we change in bulk? We can change our listings to be private or non private, make listings private or make listings public. Uh, just notice that listings that already had sales will not be able to be changed. That's just how uh, eBay uh, allows it. We can change in bulk the template. We have a list of templates and you can have your own templates that you've added here and you can change them in bulk to all your listings. We can change the tag. Okay, maybe I want to change the tag for a specific reason. I can remove the tag by checking this. I can change the policy. Okay, I can check this. I can choose the country in which I'm working with in this account, eBay US, and then I can either choose my eBay 
business policies. It will take them directly from the, the policies I have on eBay. You see, you can change uh, only the payment, only the return, only shipping, or maybe everything together. Or I can change to use custom upload, which is something that you can just create uh, on the spot. You can choose the duration, the handling time, and so on, shipping and return. Um, you can change the location. Let's say, for example, you've been uploading from Banggood, our newest uh, supplier. Banggood have, has two warehouses. Some are, one uh, some are in the United States and some in China. So maybe the listings that you've uploaded were taken from China, uh, but you've uploaded them with uh, a location in the United States. So you can just uh, choose those listings and change location. You check here and just choose China and change the location. Uh, and you can write the city. Uh, you can, in bulk, you can disable stock monitoring or enable stock monitoring. You can disable auto ordering or enable auto ordering. You can choose whether to allow marketplace monitoring or to block. And you can uh, disable or enable the price monitoring. When you click apply to all listings, this action will do your change to all of your items on the store. So please notice not to click that if you don't want this to be applied to all your listings. What else can you do? You can end listing in bulk. The end listing button, the red one, will be uh, deleting, ending the item on eBay and from the monitor. You can choose to remove from the monitor, meaning that the listings will still be monitored, uh, will still be active on eBay, but not monitored by AutoDS. You can choose to relist the items. So let's say, for example, I filtered by number of views and number of watchers and found very weak listings with hardly any impression from eBay. I can choose to relist them. What will happen is that they will be ended on eBay and then immediately uploaded again with all the settings that they already had with the pricing and if you had any notes for these items, any tags, everything will be, um, will be saved. And remember, of course, to save the changes and you're done. When you want to see what's going on with your bulk change items, you can just click here and you'll see what happened to uh, what's happening to your bulk change. If it's finished, these ones are stuck uh, in progress. Uh, that sometimes happens when we run some kind of update. So you don't really need to uh, think about that. Just like run them again if it, that happened. And you can just click here. You'll see the change that you've made. It didn't write it now here. Let's try here. It's a test account. And you'll see the details here of the items that were changed and if it was successful. That's it for the bulk change. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions, we are available at the support chat.